Hello friends and welcome back to the channel. If you are new here, my name is Chris aka okay, the IT guy back with another video. So today I'm going to show you how to hide the directives where you are using PHP programming because in some cases you don't need to show the extension or the files that you use to render the page and as a live example you can see that on this system that i was uh, developing you can see that i am I'm able to see the index.php file that it's the one that is rendering this page on the browser and whenever a user try to click on register you can see that it will give you the direct path to where the registration file is you can see that it is in the directives as the name of my project folder uh, and it will be in auth and it will be in register.php not only that let's say that the admin is also logged in so uh, by clicking on admin you can see that I, I, i'm able to see the directives as admin admin dashboard.php so for security reasons and for the proper representation of your uh, urls or your links you will need to implement some other features so as to be able to have a short links and the links that that, that doesn't contain the name of the file that are the secure ones and uh, for the security reasons also uh, this can be very helpful so I, to do that by using php programming uh, i'm going to use another or another language that is called par and whenever you get exam from the apache friends you will get this package you will get the exam uh, and you will get the package as for apache server for the mariadb for the php and for the par and we're going to use this par to perform those kind of actions so i'm going to go ahead and open my code editor and start coding so there are many 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 uh, there are many techniques that i have seen other programmers use and they use to create folders for specific actions and they make like index files and whenever you want to access that page you you do you do access it without inputting the file name but that can be tiresome and can be like shitty code because imagine you have like a um, hundred index uh, index so-called index files in your project it can be very messy and it can be very confusing so that's why we are going to see on how we can implement the uh, kind of uh, directive that you can use in our website so enough of talking as you are seeing i am in my code editor and the first thing that i'm going to do is to go to the app and to the configuration file i tried to allocate my host as this one it is uh, in the local host and the project name is called directives and the input slash and the other things that will become after will be the files that are contained in this folder that is called directives and after doing that i i defined or i made the constant as url root and i input this host one as the constant that is good the variable that is called that is going to be held by this constant okay and after that i use this bootstrap file i use this bootstrap file to load the the, the the configuration file and whenever i need to access the configuration i will load this bootstrap and to load the configuration file okay if you are familiar with my coding style you understand what i'm doing so and i will really have to post this code on my patreon page you can go and check there the source codes are always available on my patreon page okay and for that i'm going to reallocate my assets so as to be able to uh, to to uh, to allocate my asset because as long as we will be changing the directives some assets will be lost but for the link that we made earlier i'm going to go ahead and do like this one and i'm going to require once the i'm going to navigate to app and i'm going to put bootstrap.php okay all right so after doing that you can go ahead and do like this one and it will have to load that configuration file and to to reallocate the assets i will see where uh, the assets are for this case for this index page to, to be loaded it is uh, the assets are in index and assets and all these kind of files are in there so it means that i will have to observe where the index is started as the the folder that contains the asset and i'm going to hold uh, alt key if you're using the windows so as to be able to to go and to try to include the directive that we need to to supply a file from okay so after doing this i'm going to go ahead and do like this one php i'm going to go and write php and i'm going to echo 
uh, loot like this one i'm going to cross and do like this one for this case whenever we need to access these assets we will be using these directives and not only that you can do that to the image too for example if i need to access this image i can do like this one and i can do echo url loot and i'm going to do like this one okay so all right so let's go ahead and refresh and see if there is no change to our file you can see that there is no change which means that we are good and when you press enter again you can see that there is nothing changed and after doing that it is now time to go ahead and implement some power code so as to be able to hide our directives so to be able to write the power code we do write them on the ht access file so i'm going to go ahead and create a new file and i'm going to call this as dot ht access like this one and press enter and inside this a dot ht access uh, file i'm going to go ahead and initialize the right engine like this one right engine on like this one okay after doing that, we are going to specify the rule, the rule that we want to for, to be uh, considering why we are going to render our page or we want to implement what the user tells us to do. Uh, to do that, I'm going to do like rewrite, uh, I'm going to press enter and I'm going to go ahead and type rewrite lure like this one as one single word and i'm going to input a bit of space in here so as to be able to have a clean workspace and after we do right rule we leave a space and we input this symbol and we put the name of the directive that we need to have and the name of the file that we want to replace for example if i am i want to replace this index.php with the home i will leave the home like this one and put the space and i'm going to uh, i'm going to write index.php and after that i will leave a space i put this uh, square bracket and i'm going to put nc and i'm going to put r like this one okay and for that case whenever we go back uh, after saving and we go back to here and we try to access our index page by pressing the home like this one you can see that i am able to access this without any extension and i'm able to access the home i know many would be saying that you can also access this by removing the home and do like this one yes i understand it it works because this is the index page but for other pages for example let me say i want to to simplify the login page so i'm going to copy this and i'm going to do the same for example i'm going to do like this one and i'm going to call this register and for this case uh, uh, whenever i input the path like this one and i'm going to do like this one all right and and i go back to here and i i in I, I type register you can see that now it makes sense you can see that i was able to do two directives and register instead of you of doing like this one you can see that this is somehow a shitty code you can see that it was able to display the file that contain our registration page but whenever we do like this one you can see that you can be able to see this in so much clear way and we are ensuring our security of our files okay and other stuff that we can be doing is for the admin and i can do the same you know copy paste like always i can call this as super user like this one and i can put the directive as admin and i'm going to be saying okay admin i'm going to say admin uh, dashboard that's php and for this case whenever i need to access the admin i can go ahead and do like this one and i can be able to access the admin isn't that cool i hope it is so and for that case also we need to upgrade the links because as long as we were able to click on register and you will be seeing the same links like area we need to change them so to do that i'm going to to, to allocate where they are and in this case they are on my index and as i'm on index i will navigate to here and see so that i'm having this path as odd register.php and this is now we are going to change and to do that i'm going to go ahead and put like this one php echo url root and i will do like this one and close after that i'm going to input the uh register okay and i'm going to copy this because i'm a resi programmer you know and i'm going to paste it here and here okay 
and for this case i'm going to call this ad uh, it is called su or super user okay cool and for this case uh we can go ahead and test if it works okay no problem you can go ahead and refresh and click on register you can see that it was able to go to the register page and when you click on a, a the admin can be it, it will go to like to the admin page okay i hope this helped you a lot and i can also clarify again that the reason why i'm using url root it's the same case like i can go ahead and write like uh okay let's say as when i write url root like this one the same like writing localhost and i'm going to put uh, directives and i do this 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 is equal to the url root and whenever you see i am using this know that it's the proper way i used because i used to do the configuration right here and i initialize this in this file and on the index page i initialize the bootstrap too so I hope guys you like this video and you get something from it and let me know if you met with any problem or any error i will be here to help you and if you liked it go ahead and click on thumbs up and don't hesitate to share it with your friends your colleagues or your teacher who knows maybe he doesn't know how to do this you can share this video with anyone else and if you are coming on the channel for the first time and you kind of like this go ahead and press subscribe and guys we will be meeting next time check my patreon page for the uh, source code and have fun happy coding